So yeah, it's been a few years since I've been in Australia. I can't wait to get back over there. I mean, I, I was driving with guys like Bo and Levi, and back over in Japan, people like Yokoi and uh, Naoki. These guys are all people I drive with all the time, but to have them all at one site, I can't wait to start rubbing doors with them. Hi, my name's Andy Gray. I'm three times Formula Drift Japan champion. I've lived in Japan for around 13 to 14 years now. Uh, my company's based around not only supplying cars for guys who come to Ibisi, which we're well known for, to come here and drift, but we also export cars around the world. And a main part of our business is, of course, is our race team. Uh, we participated in first D1 GP. In fact, I started at the very lowest level of the local competitions and worked my way up through the ranks to become a, a D1 GP driver and in recent years I transferred over to Formula Drift Japan. We're on a three-car team in Formula Drift Japan. We're a collaboration, it's Team Kazama with Power Vehicles. Kazama is one of the long-established famous Japanese tuners and I've had a very good relationship with him for the last 10 years. Uh, we run three cars on this side in Power Vehicles, myself and two Singapore drivers, and we all drive Toyota 2JZ powered vehicles. So I'm probably most synonymous with JZX100s, I've used them now for 10 plus years in all my competition drifting, won three championships and we built uh, both platforms, a Chaser and a Mark II, to the highest level. Uh, over the years we've developed a very strong package, a very reliable package using the Toyota 2JZ. First of all, I started back in the day with a normal, un untuned, unopened engine, and we developed a, a 3.1 package. And nowadays, we use both 3.4s, and the latest cars are all using a Tomy 3.6. So it's a very reliable, big displacement engine that easily produces over a thousand horsepower. We've always used the Garrett GCD turbos. Uh, we found them all very reliable, good power delivery, very responsive as compared to the older generation turbos. It's tried, it's proven, it's, it's won races for us. So this is the package, that's the engine platform. Gearbox wise, we've always used G-forces, a very simple American style NASCAR gearbox, four speed. Uh, those two components together will, will continue to win us races. To kids, I, I want to get the kids really involved in, uh, appeal to them and make something beautiful. It's very important that we as a company appeal to the, the youngsters to try and get them into the sport. Whether it's just liking the car or want to drive the car or want to own the car, we need to make something special that they want to get involved in. So of course I was drifting all the time from all around the world and I've been watching the International Drifting Cup for the last few years. Uh, every time I watch it, of course, I want to get involved, but then I heard that Ian is changing the track to the, my favourite South Circuit, one I actually drove on a few years ago, and for me, uh, that, that's a massive appealing point.
evolution of drifting has been a crazy thing to be a part with. I mean, when I started 10 years ago, the, the cars were slightly up on standard power with a little bit more steering rock. Nowadays, these things are absolutely crazy. To even drive these is, is an experience. You know, a thousand horsepower near a thousand kg, 285 tires, massively sticky. Pilot one of these is not normal. These things are just absolute animals to spit you out. The, the, the high speed attack track, so you're full throttle, throwing it into the corner, away up the hill. Uh, for me, after driving many tracks around the world, that's one of the best tracks in the world. Um, I'm watching a lot of the Japanese media, the DVDs that come with the magazines. In the magazines, there's a, a lot of hype, a lot of um, excitement about the World Time Attack. So it's great for me to come over from Japan, represent both my home country, Scotland, and represent Japan and Japan's tuning style in the event uh, with the eyes of the world on it. So yeah, I can't wait to get over to Sydney Motorsport Park and represent Scotland against the, the Kiwis, the Aussies, the, the Japanese, everybody. So yeah, bring it. <laughs>